Hello everyone and welcome to the first lecture of tutorial series on introduction to Java. In this tutorial series, you will learn about all the basic fundamentals that are needed for Java programming. But before we begin with actual programming in Java, we will just see what is Java. Java is a widely used programming language that is designed for distributed environment of internet. But why Java? What are the key advantages of Java? Because we have so many programming languages. First key advantage is it is easy to learn. So compared to C++, Java has less complicated syntax. So it is easy to learn Java. Next, it is platform independent. So whether Mac, Windows or Linux, it works similarly on all the platforms. Suppose you have Linux system and your, your colleague has Mac system. Your Java program will run smoothly on both the systems. So Java is platform independent. Next, very big key advantage is it is object oriented. What are objects? Objects are analogous to the real life things such as phone, book, paper, pen, even dogs, cats, persons, etc. So Java is an object oriented programming language. Next, it is multi-threaded language. So a program can perform multiple tasks at the same time. So these were some key advantages of Java. But where to program Java or where to write the program of Java? We have several ideas for writing Java. First is NetBeans, then we have Eclipse, then we have IntelliJ, BlueJ, Oracle J Developer, Greenfoot, etc. Even Visual Studio. But we are going to use Eclipse in this tutorial series. So now let us begin with installation of Java. For installing Java, you just go to this link. Let me open my browser over here. When you click on the link, you'll get you'll get to this window. Okay. Alternatively, you can search on Google JDK. Okay. JDK. What is JDK? It is Java Development Kit. Okay. Which will which will write the program. Okay. Understand the program and execute your Java program. So. You can download JDK from here, okay, by clicking over here and scroll down and you can see Java Development Kit for all the systems, almost all the systems. As I have 64 uh, bit device, so I'll install Windows 64 installer, okay. Just click on downloading the installer, right, and then you can just you can just click over the installer whenever it gets installed i have cancelled this because uh, i have it already installed in my device so whenever you click on that installer what you will be popped up with you will be popped up with this type of a dialog box here you will have next and cancel button so click on next button then click on install button and then just click on close button okay after it gets installed it will take some time to get installed after it gets installed click on close button you will be also you'll also get a dialog box of choosing the path where you want to install your uh, java development kit okay so you keep it default you keep it default why default it will be stored in your c drive so just click on close over here okay when you click on next steps you'll be you'll be redirected to your browser window again okay? and you will see full documentation of java development kit so for now click on close button now we just will just install eclipse eclipse ide so for eclipse ide just go to this click uh, this link okay you can go to this link Alternatively, in your browser, you can search Eclipse. Okay. And, oops, just go over this download button. The links of both Java and Eclipse will be given in the description below. 
click on this download button and click over here. When you click over here, your download will start automatically. I'm canceling the download as I have this one also already downloaded in my device. So whenever the installer gets downloaded, run the installer and then you'll see the next one, the next uh, pop-up. Here you just click on the first option, Eclipse IDE for Java developers as we are going to use this exclusively for Java programming. Next, you just click over the install button here. You will get an install button. Okay, when you click over the install button, you will be able to see the progress. You will be able to this green, what we say green fill says about the progress of, the, of your install. So, you will be able to see your progress over here, right? Then you just click on accepting agreement. Okay, you'll be you'll get a pop up of license agreement. You may also get before installing it. Okay, so accept the agreement. Okay, and then what you do is launch launch the installer. So this was about launching Eclipse installer. Now after you launch it. You will get where do you want a workspace? Java has a workspace, okay? So, where do you want your workspace? You keep it default and just click on launch, okay? Launching your Eclipse over there. So, when you click on launching your Eclipse, you'll, you'll get your Eclipse window. Now, this is your Eclipse window and for the first time, you, you may see this, okay? So, you just click on this hide button over here, okay? You will have a hide button over here. So click on that hide button. So now let me take you to Eclipse. How does the Eclipse look? This is how your Eclipse, this is your Eclipse environment. Here you will code. Okay. Here is the console where your code will get executed. And from here you can just, uh, you can just have a new file. Okay. You can create a new file. So, so this was about your Eclipse environment and in this, in the next lecture, we will see how to work on this environment and in upcoming, all the upcoming lectures, we will work exclusively on this Eclipse environment. So before we end this video, let us have a short summary of what we studied in the first lecture of introduction to Java. Let us summarize what we did. First, we studied about introduction and key advantages of Java. What is Java and what are the key advantages of Java? The four key advantages. Next, we just installed Java. We just looked upon how to install Java. Next, we looked upon installation of Eclipse and environment of Eclipse. How actual window of Eclipse looks like. So that's it for today's session. See you in the next session.